All right. And I'm admitting all. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I just want to let you know that I'm on. Hi, Melissa. Hi. I um ended up in the other meeting twice. No, no. You, you, it wasn't your fault. Everybody did. Okay, no worries. I am on, though. As, as point of reference, everybody, it does still, when you log into this meeting, it does still call it the Emergency Services Facilities Building. Um, so got, we got to leave. Oh, so you should just leave the. Can we leave the meeting? Well, we don't want to shut it off. Oh, she has it. We we passed one too. Okay. You need an ambulance. You probably don't. That is. Yeah. Yeah. No, you yeah. Reclaim those. Yeah. Reclaim yeah. those up there. All right, I'll turn on her video. I'm so glad this is just the dress rehearsal. <laughs> Something I, this is something new. I didn't know you couldn't have two meetings at the same time. I, anybody else know it? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Go back to the person. Yeah. But I only ran into it because I tried to. Anybody see a lot of you, you, you only I, ran into it because what? I tried COVID to do it and, and I ended up doing the same thing. Oh, I think you can close that box where it's the board finance regular meeting over there. Uh -huh. Maybe not. No, it's still there. We're still yeah, we're just still close there. that window. Close this window. Look at that. <clears throat> I still don't see John, however. Anybody have a phone number for him? Who? John Tian. John Tian. Oh, I do, I think. I think I do. Yeah. Oh. Melissa, you can hear us? Got a quick off. I can. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I feel like we should probably go back and redo the present to speak. Yes. Okay. Give everybody a chance. Yeah. So are we on? I believe so. It says we're still recording unless you want me to stop the start. Uh, no, no, no. I think we're good. Hey, so we got the so we'll continue the meeting. We'll go back to present to speak. Zoom and board of finance. Public participation is desired and encouraged. Speakers will be limited to time uh, and appropriateness of comments to maintain progress, stay on topic, and maintain decorum. Do we have anybody pres for that? present to speak? Kathy Demers. Okay. Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm Kathy Demers. I'm the uh, chairperson for the Conservation Commission. Um, I just wanted to let you know that our Conservation Commission would like to be on your agenda for next month. Um, we'd like to bring forward um, some information about a piece of property that's adjacent to Fed and Ruby Park that we would like to recommend that the town acquire. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that we would like to be on your agenda next month. All right. Could you send me an email for that? And yes. I'll make sure you're on the agenda, okay? Okay, very yeah. good. And we'll send you a packet yeah. with the information okay. prior to your meeting yeah. so you can share it with everyone. Okay. 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 okay, thank you. Have a good night. Jim Marshall. Hi, good evening, guys. Jim Marshall, Fisher Hole Road. Um, I sent you, uh, as the meeting agenda was posted yesterday, I sent you um, a letter last night. Um, it was lengthy, but I'll just, I just wanted to speak briefly and say that um, I, I, I have strong concerns. Or I wanted to express my strong concerns about um, the release or the potential request for any funding related to any improvements to Station 13 um, until such times the committee seems to get a handle on its larger charge and has a much better picture of where the total cost um, and total need for emergency services is here in town. Um, the notion to call a town meeting to release any funding is incredibly premature, in my opinion. Um, and honestly, going back to the emergency services facilities committee, 
their meeting back in April, um, Chief Moore had noted there's only a 30 second difference in response time for Willington Hill, Willington Hill number one um, between the two stations. It didn't factor in any of the, uh, the Willington Hill Department station, um, but the committee hasn't even done that heat map or that response time to determine where we should be addressing any spending yet. So again, I just ask you, I know you guys have um, both a request for information from Willington number one on here and a discuss you know, about a town meeting, but I'd, I'd ask you to really consider um, the fact that there needs to be a much greater level of due diligence and advancements in the overall project before you do anything. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Anybody else for present to speak? Nope. So again, John Tehan is not present. So we'll move on to item number three, which is your question. I'm sorry, I didn't mean there are. What's that? Were you able to get hold of him? Yeah, he's probably going to be a few minutes. All so right. maybe we can we go back to him. Come to back. Him. Yeah. All right. So there there is. Is. yes, yes. <laughs> All right. John? You there, John? <coughs> John Tehan? I think he's getting his video is audio, audio up and running. Yeah, let's move on to item three for now. So request for information from Wellington Fire Department number one. So all of you were sent an email um, that outlines requests that we could be making of Wellington Fire Department number one regarding financial transparency. Um, they've been asked several times for this information over the years and they haven't provided it. And on top of that, they have not filed. That's not true. Once, one that We have provided everything that we've been asked. All right, hang on. It's been happening. I'm sorry, no. I, uh, well, I just, I, I think what this goes into something further and that's because of the length of time and also with what's on the table financially that we need to see your books essentially because you guys haven't filed tax returns so there's no information that you would normally see on the 990 and we have what we have what we have seen is what the town offices already have like the accounts payable that they do and in fact this includes that so that would be, you know, that would be stuff that we would ask for the for the business office, or you could ask to work with the business office on. Our so essentially, for the part. town stuff, what we give during budget season. No, it's the we're we're looking for detail on transactions. Okay. So which we don't see normally. Money so, coming in from the different sources and then, where the money's being spent. And then, in addition to that, the 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 accounts that we don't see because they're off budget accounts and this is you know something we've asked for the library and gotten before and you know it's and or it's or it's information that's in the 990s but it's just we don't have we don't have enough to really see what the picture is okay and and especially during all these asks of additional funds and it's not going to go away and you know stuff is pending it um, ESFBC, um, you know, feel we feel like it's the time that we need to see fuller financial information. I would ask that it's not just us, it's both fire departments that are looking through. Like I said, they're up to date on their 990s. And our 990s are done. Bruce has it in his email that he put the letter from the accountant that they're done and it's under review. Oh, is that now? Now, I, I got the letter from the accountant this afternoon. I'm more than happy to show it to you, but I couldn't print it. I tried printing it before the meeting, but yeah. I have it on my phone. I think, I think given so the imminent request, though, Alex, I think we need to see, I think we need to see full accounts, you know, like revenue and stuff that doesn't normally come in that way, um, that doesn't come into the town. You know, like the tower rental, for instance, that's the one everybody knows about. I don't know if there's other stuff. That's but, it. It's tower yeah. rental. Yeah. But um, we don't really see the transaction of it. But we've shown that to you guys. We've shown that during budget season. I haven't seen the account. You guys have asked for it and we've given it to you. I have we, no problem I've doing it. I've seen a round figure. I haven't seen any 
Um, I mean, there's a pl there's something plugged in the budget. We're not talking about a budget submission. We're talking about basically, you know, what you guys have in your own accounting and your books, <clears throat> transaction wise. Okay. Anybody any questions? So you have files and you're not 15 years in, in the rears? No, they've been done. The 990s are done. They're under review. Okay. I, so have you been filing them every year or have you just filed them all for all the past years? We had to just file for all the past years. The next one's due the end of November. Right? November. Um, and you sent me. I did. I just sent me. Oh, yeah. Just I it. literally got it this afternoon. And unfortunately, okay. I got a new phone today. So it literally finished upstairs. So okay. I couldn't get anything to print. It's not available online yet, though. It is not because right. it's under review. So we're still in the same position. We're, we're making decisions about a lot of money right now, Alex. That's the thing. And um, and we haven't we haven't had anything to look at. So. But and, and I, I, I don't mean to. No, I know in the budget. The fire department has to come and ask to spend seventy thousand dollars for mediation. That was on the building committee. We have not asked for that because my point blank and then said it to the building committee, spending seventy thousand dollars of taxpayer money on that to remediate, re remediate that building, will be throwing money away. Unless there's a bigger plan, that's what we're trying to do. That's a piece of it, of what we're talking about. I, I, I understand. It's, it's, just... it's, it's overall, it's overall fiduciary responsibility of the Board of Finance to, Board of Finance to make certain that we're in good stead. And especially when we're talking about big capital projects and everything else. And we we really have, I mean, the Board of Finance under different entities have, have been asking uh, for, for four solid years for this. So it's not, you know, it's, it's uh, I don't know how long it takes for the 990s to show up, especially 15 years of them or 14 years. Ask the same thing. I, I asked the same question yeah. of our auditor why it takes so long. It well, and, and, and also, you guys have work to do with the IRS, I'm assuming. So, you know, so, to break through because you've been silent for so long. So, we we, have, we can't like wait for the IRS on this one, I don't think. You know, I'm just curious about one thing. By having you filed in the past 14 years, I asked the same thing. To be honest, I didn't know we did had we had uh, the treasurer we never filed it. I had no idea. Um, I learned at a board of finance meeting. I had absolutely no idea. I was blindsided as much as anybody else. Um, what do the other folks say though? What did what are your what does your board say about that? The same thing that you guys say is ridiculous. Nobody knew. Uh, and unfortunately, it's volunteers that that manage that part. That it, it just never. I don't know how it was an oversight. I. I'd always assume they'd be, they were being done because it's not the part of the department I take care of. I think Tom and I both have been, we handle the operation side of presidents and the you know, board of directors handle the administrative. How do you handle it, Tom, at the Hill? Like Alex just said, the president handles most of the administrative stuff and he and I both oversee the whole department. We will work yes. Okay. So, but as far as taxes go, is that your treasurer or is that your... It's your, your, your CPA. Yeah. It's our treasurer that takes, we use, I believe it's Martin Kruger. We use Navarro. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I understood what you're saying. Yeah. 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 If anybody that was on the board remembers, there was a tax issue, but it was a payroll tax issue. So it's not like we were silent. There was a misfiling through, um, and I don't remember who the Well, that was somebody. a mistake on the account. Correct, but, our, right. but it comes back as willing to fire a company. It doesn't come back. So it's not like the IRS hasn't been looking at our stuff. It was well, you wouldn't, like you wouldn't pay it. Right. So I don't know. Okay. I mean, that's a whole different. Yeah. So it's yeah. just a part of this is though that your your also your nonprofit status has lapsed in those fourteen years. So I don't. I'm not even sure whether you all seek to reestablish that or whether you just want to operate as a for profit. 
We would um, like to reapply. That's our goal. Um, the accountant's working on so what that actually means. And how we do this. Oh, yeah, that. and that could take some years on the that's why we'll document. But that's why we haven't. Yeah. Right, but we haven't been acting as a nonprofit because we're not. So, who is uh, which? If you don't mind me asking, which firm are you guys using for uh, your CPA? Navratil or Womanic? Shane Navratil. All right, I'll make sure that I send out the 990s to the rest of the board. So it's it's a letter from them. There was three oh, questions okay. that we had to address, okay. which were just how long members have been on the boards. But it's from the accountant says all the 990s have been completed. They're in the review process. Okay. We'll get them. Uh, you mean reviewing by the CPA? Uh, not reviewing by the IRS? They have not been sent to the IRS. Okay. They are being reviewed by, but they've had them. So we had, did the original process of finding out what actually had to be submitted to the accountants. All of that was submitted and they've had them since almost three years. <clears throat> Over three years, when we found out, um, it was not long. It took two months to get all the stuff together and to the accountants and they've had it since then. The accountants have. Huh? Anybody else? Right. Thank you, Alex. So, item number four is discuss the town meeting for projects regarding Wellington Fire Department one and mm -hmm. Wellington Hill Fire Department. And see, I talked to Ralph Tullis today. They're upstairs meeting. They're still discussing them, so they don't have anything for us at this time. But Peter, you have something? I do. It turns out that neither one of these projects has to go to town meeting, which saves one step there. Um, um, but there's two two uh, line items already approved in the budget. One of them is for the parking lot at Willington Hill that we were putting off because we thought we might be moving them across the street. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And that driveway needs to be fixed before we lose a, a car to the septic system. So, uh, Chief Schneider and I have been talking. He's already out getting bids for that. I believe all he does is once he gets the bids is come to you for approval and we can we can start that project. The other project on there is I, I can't remember which order they were in. One was 30,000, one was 35. Yes. The one for Willington uh 13. Uh Willington one, station 13. Is this for this fall? That's when this is planned up and done. Uh this lot. Running out of time quick. Yes, we're, we're getting the quotes for the property contractors now. So as soon as we can get bids back, um, we're gonna come back to you guys to say let's put the trigger and get it done. It shouldn't be a huge project. There's a concrete um, barrier around the septic tank covers that's falling apart and disintegrating along with the parking lot around it. So it should be relatively quick to get it done. Pull that out, form a new one, post in concrete. There's no asphalt work involved. In there will be some asphalt work around it. You can see it leading up to it and before it and probably around the outside edges. But sure. again, it's you know just pulling, cutting it, pulling it up. And so the cut, there's a cutting patch, cutting patch. Yeah, yeah. So our next meeting when over the asphalt plants closed, like in the time something like that. We might have to do it sooner. So Griff, what's going on in your committee? The discussions regarding this firehouse. Um, this firehouse isn't really being addressed terribly much. It, okay. You know, it's it's more or less hanging in there. Um, so it'll be kept it's... kept in operation. Yeah. Okay, indefinitely. Well, well, until it falls down. Yeah. Well, it's going to be for years until this whole thing gets settled. Whether yeah. you know where we're going to build, what we're going to build, um, it's going to be. Even if we said yes, build tomorrow, it'll still be years. Yeah. So we have to rectify this situation. Can I just ask Tom, is this still, this is still a CIP, isn't it? Or is that, did that fall out of CIP? Donna, Do you know, Donna? That. It went through the process of CIP. Yeah, and it did go through the process. Town meeting and all that. Um, yes. It's in 930. It's budget. Oh, so we have whatever, uh, $30,000 placeholder for it? 35. 35. 35. Okay. 
And I'm going to say we're working on it as fast as we can. I get contract. I was just going to text on me and see if I can get something back. But and the, the other thing I, on on this general topic is the thirty thousand for station thirteen. That money is also in my budget right now. Fund seventeen. It's in fund seventeen. Uh, that was to fix the driveway, which we're not going to do because. You can't fix a driveway going up to a building you can't use. It doesn't make a lot of sense. However, that entire area needs to be drained. Uh, the uh, public works was out there today and yesterday digging up all the drainage. They found the blockage. Things are starting to drain, but it was never designed correctly. And one of the, the problems is that the main drain pipe just ends in dirt where it should end in a... Uh, catch base. So they need to build a catch basin down there. It's not going to cost a whole $30,000, but regardless of what we do with that land, we need to drain the water. So I'd like to move the uh, $30,000 from fixing the driveway to fixing the drainage. So it's kind of re redirecting that money versus redirecting it's, that, not it's not, a, it's not a one-to-one. -one, it's not, it's it, the money was to pave the, the lot. Instead of paving a lot, I want to dig a hole and put it in a catch base. Okay, is that a timing thing, or are we saying we never want to pave it? Uh, we I don't think we want to pave it until we figure out what we're doing with that building, and that's going to take a while. But we do need to start draining water, and and that catch basin should have been built when they put in the drain pipe. And a lot of what they're digging out out there, how they designed that, is a mystery to me. I I, I don't know what they were thinking. And now one thing that they've done has matched a drawing. A yeah. Drawing. Not one thing. It's like a mystery under there. All, all the drains, all the way down dragons. to the foundation. The foundation doesn't match what was designed. The the back of the building, all the drains back there aren't connected to anything. Which it's makes it hard to drain. Winchester Mystery House. Yes. But uh, I, I think that they, collect, they, they connected it up today, this morning. Uh, Troy and the guys were out there connecting that up so we can drain the back of the building. But it's going to take, what do you say, a six inch pipe? And right now they got a like a three inch or a four inch. They, they took a soda the, the, can out that was four inches around. I don't The question I have is that, that, that lot, if it is it how it's, you know, like, it is doing doing this uh, necessary at any rate, or necessary only if we rebuild, if we tear down and rebuild there? I think it's you know, like what. It's that necessary context. as long as we have own a building on that lot. It may also be necessary if we want to keep a Trask Road, because the the drain goes underneath Trask Road, and Trask Road is a gravel road that drains down. The north side, and then the drain water's got to make it to the south side, and so I think it would help maintain that road as well. And the other thing too is we can't really decide what exactly we're going to do at the site in the building until we understand whether or not we can get the water table down low enough to be able to do anything with the site and the building. Mm -hmm. So if we want the information, we have to drain the water. But then we keep going around in circles. Is it worth draining the water if we don't know if we're going to do anything with it? Well, we don't know if we're going to do anything unless we drain the water. So it's it just keeps going around. And around. So is this worth it just to have an answer, even if it ends up that yes. this money is? I, I believe I believe the answer to that would not only be yes, but it would be worth it even if we don't build a building there to keep trash growing, and to, you know that lot's going to need draining anyway. And the pipe doesn't do us any good unless there's a catch basin at the end. How you is it, that the, is the, the, the town the engineer third. who's saying that? It's it's or uh, who's saying that. Well, it's it's a combination of Troy and uh, Ralph. So I don't believe the town engineer. He's been out there twice, and his opinion was that we need to get the water away, um, bigger pipe, and get it to. They put a swale in, they put a pipe in, they put. Did this ever halfway work? Has this been going on for years? No it's probably been going on for years, yeah. but it got worse when the when the four-inch pipe on the north 
west corner of the building completely clogged. And it, it clogged so bad they couldn't rotor rooter it. They they had to dig the pipe out of the ground and replace it. Wasn't there an issue too about um, some public works repairs uphill from it that got aggravated? Oh, I thought there was. I, if there was, it's, it's it's that's completely unknown to me. Okay. So you're asking us to vote on and to approve $30,000 for station? No, I'm just asking you to consider it for the next meeting because this is this is something that we, we're not going to need till next month anyways because Troy's got to have time to figure out a contractor and the, the hole is just deep enough that their new excavator is like two feet too short. So they're going to have to bring in a contractor with an excavator and get some precast concrete and stuff in there. So I, I don't know the cost and and... Having been on that board, I, I know it's hard to make a decision when you just go, yeah, it's going to be money. I, I, I'd i like to get you a, a little closer accounting, but I, I just want to put, start the conversation of, of putting the money from a, a project that we know we're not doing into a project that we know needs to. Have you consulted with the CIP chair? I'm just wondering, or can you? I, I I will, but that's uh oh yeah, yes. fun seventeen so let's do CIP anyway. But... Right. Any other questions for Peter? All right. So we will go back one more time to item two. John T. Hand Waste Energy Report. Are you there, John? Yes, I'm here. Sorry, I uh, missed the beginning of the meeting. Okay, thanks, John. So you're up to speed. Um, okay, um, do you guys have a copy of the uh, letter that I had sent in? It just, uh, it goes over the case for um, curtailing the purchase of uh, fossil fuel fired um, burners uh, for heating our buildings. Um, a much better case can be made to use uh, an electrically sourced heat pump, whether it's an air sourced heat pump or a ground sourced heat pump. Um, air source heat pumps are very competitive price wise with um, fossil fuel boilers, um, and they're also eligible for a 30% federal tax credit, uh, which the uh, town uh, gets back from the federal government uh, as a, just a form of pure money. They send us a check for 30% of whatever we spend on them. Um, so, so yeah, John, you're talking, yeah. you're talking about the email you sent me two months ago, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, I did not send that to anybody because you had asked to come in and do a presentation regarding that. So I figured you would have brought documentation with you. Oh, uh, I apologize for not being there in person. Can we can we put this on then for um, the next uh, BOF meeting uh, two weeks from yeah. now? I apologize. Yeah. You, well, that's in that's in four weeks. It'll be the third Thursday, in October, and just send me an email this evening, and I'll make sure that you're on the agenda. Okay, terrific. I apologize for that. All right, no problem. Thanks, John. All right. Could I ask about um, uh, item three? Do we need to take any kind of a vote by the board on that? Or? Right now, why don't we wait until the 990s been filed and everything, send them out and take a look at them and everything, and go from there? Well, 990, you're not going to get an answer on that. Yeah, I don't think the 990 is going to be answered. I, I, I think that we got to wait till a bid comes in for that tool. Yeah, All right, so what we're going to vote on then is to um, craft a letter to be sent to Wellington Fire Department number one uh, regarding the issues that have been brought up in this uh, letter here. Mm -hmm and to um, just ask them for transparency as far as the money that they have coming in and the money going out to the different sources. So um, do we have a motion for that? The second it? Uh, so moved. Right. I'm sorry, can you motion? Uh, to craft a letter to send to Wellington Hill, <laughs> or not Wellington Hill, but Wellington Fire Jason, Department number one. Moving. Oh. Jason, it was first. Yeah. Thank you. Second. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 
Any abstentions? Any nays? Right, so it's unanimous. Right, so we'll be sending you a letter, Alex. Maybe you just all mind just detail what exactly you're looking for. Okay. We'll just get this. Okay. I got that. He's got that. I, I think it's on. Yeah, we'll send you something more formal it's in there. It's, it's pretty much in there. All right, so there's no correspondence. So again, present to speak, public participation is desired and encouraged. Speakers will be limited to time and appropriateness of comments. To maintain progress, stay on topic and maintain decorum. Do we have anybody for present to speak? I'm yes. just um, Michelle Lucette Cunningham, 41 Lisco Road. Um, I'm also a nonprofit executive and um, I file a 990 every year. Um, I also have an audit done on my books every year and you can release a 990 even when it's under review. Okay. So it's not that you couldn't give it to them, it's that it might not be perfectly final. There might be okay. you know, a little bit here or there. Um, but that said, if my bookkeeper or my accountant took more than three months or four months to do a 990, I would fire them and find another one. Uh, that, is, that is the plan? Just putting that out there as a you know interested citizen that um, has had similar experiences um, and it's worthwhile spending the money to get an audit every year because that makes sure that your bookkeeper um, has all of the I's dotted and the T's crossed. And they're also, in my case, the ones who filed the 990s. If I forgot, they would be the ones who told me. So the annual audit is um, useful for lots of reasons. Uh, do you, so, and I was going to ask that, having a forensic audit or having an audit done, would that... I'm just asking, would you guys like that done? I mean, yeah, that would be nice to have that done. I mean, if, if you're going to go that route and you discuss it and you pick somebody, send me a letter of engagement regarding yeah. that. Thank you. I'm just thinking with the with the pace of things, though. I still think it's it's best to get to get what you have in hand, which is this now, versus waiting on other entities to supply because I think it'll take a while. To do an audit, how long was that? Is that? Do you know, Donna, how long that process would be? Well, first you'd have to find, you'd have to hire the auditor. So right. the process yeah. is more than just the auditors. Records. Yeah, yeah. I did not at all mean to say that you shouldn't collect the information that you need because you definitely want that too because you haven't had financials in years um, to the extent that you want, and therefore you would have it all in time to make the decisions. But I would recommend to the board that you ask for the 990s every year from those entities that you work with when they file them in November. Thanks. You know, I, I have just one other question regarding that with the tax return. Did your treasurer or anybody ever file for an extension on those? I don't. I don't know. You don't know. I really don't. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't have the answer. You think you've got an Is extension? It? They don't give you more than a one year extension. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know an accountant nice. who didn't yeah. file for seven years, and he was filing an extension every single year for seven years until he mm. until he filed. It. That was an accountant doing it. <laughs> well, Mr. Ellicott, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, if it's a nonprofit, is there even an extension? Yeah, there is an extension for just where uh, for you can you can get an extra six months yeah, because sometimes the auditor is slow. But I mean, sure. oh, is there a penalty? Uh, not for six months. I think there might be a penalty after a while. Um, I haven't ever gone that far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other comments? All right. So, do we have a motion to close the meeting for this evening? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did the president speak? Did you do it? Yes, we did. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Should we just be prepared for early October meeting, so? For, uh, for the funding. Yeah. For the, Pete, what do you think? Uh, you, I wish I had a really good answer for you. I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I talked to Ralph Tellus before. He couldn't get an answer either. But, but, so if we wait too long, you're not going to be fixing any kind yeah, of I think we, yeah, I think we could be but, ready, uh, though, couldn't we? I think, I mean, we, we would I think, if, to, I think even a special meeting just for that one item would probably suffice. It is. It's because the only item I really got to worry about is Steve Schneider. The other one in 42 years. 42 years, Fubar. I, I don't think another six months is going to hurt anything. 
<laughs> or change it. Well, can you guys float it yourselves? What time did? Uh, no, that's not you what? no. Can we do what? Can you float it yourself and then come back? I don't think so. No, <laughs> that's, 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 it's going to be thousands. I don't know how much it can be two or twenty. You know, you're on a rental revenue company. Yeah. Look yeah. <laughs> at all that maintenance. Hey. <laughs> All right, so again, motion to close the meeting. So well moved. Okay. All right, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Oh, we're out before game time. Are they still meeting upstairs? No. No. Well, they, they had the yeah. meeting. Instead of, instead of continuing on without video, they just adjourned. Okay. Well. Yeah.